On the 20th of January, 1936, Edward's father, King George V, died. Queen Mary took her son's hand and kissed it. He'd had 40 years to prepare himself for this day, but it had merely been 40 years dreading it. The now King Edward VIII burst into tears. The heavy burden of kingship was now on Edward's shoulders, but his reign was about to be short and controversial. Now he was king, Edward was determined to make the most of it. He planned to make his reign different from those that had gone before. He'd be open to new ideas, progressive, willing to make changes. The more traditional regime of his father was over. His own reign was to be a more modern reflection of the times. But such a modern attitude, combined with a more informal approach, would make his a controversial reign. One of my favourite stories, which I think epitomises Edward VIII's new approach, concerns the clocks at Sandringham. Since the reign of Edward VII, they'd always been set half an hour fast. It was known as Sandringham time and was done to give him more evening daylight for hunting. But shortly after his father's death, Edward VIII ordered that they be put back to the correct time. That seems to make sense. It must have been pretty confusing having a state in its own time zone. But it was also a tradition. And in the royal household, tradition has sometimes mattered more than common sense. Edward VIII was ripping up the rule book and ruffling feathers from day one. <laughs> 